This summer has truly been one of the best in my entire life. I can't fully explain how wholesome and inspiring and nourishing and at times quite challenging it's been. And I'm just so glad I decided to take a long time away from the digital realm to really be in the present moment with my family, friends, mother nature, art making and homemaking. I love the energy that is intertwined with the summer season. I feel so charged and my spirit feels so full. It's such a beautiful time to grow and manifest and connect with the world around us and within us. I've had a lot of fun experimenting in between commissioned artwork recently. Exploring new shapes and methods and materials always really excites me, but it can also be quite nerve-wracking. But this project here really came together so beautifully. I wanted to create very stylized shapes that piece together seamlessly. And I realized that I should really invest in a tabletop scroll saw so I can more safely cut my tiny little shapes. Similar to a lot of my recent work, I decided to thrift my fabric for this wall sculpture, really focusing on fast fashion items that are just a few owners away from ending up in a landfill. And in between all of my work was a summer filled with so much love and adventure between my daughter and I. Unfortunately, my husband has been working crazy long hours on our organic farm, so during the day, Luna and I went off into the world experiencing nature, art, community, and just so much play. And at home, I have been baking and cooking so much. Our household has a lot of serious allergies and we're also ethical vegans, so our options can be really limited out in the world. So I find our most nourishing and flavorful meals are homemade and I really enjoy spending my time doing this. I also spend a lot of my art making in our kitchen while Luna independently plays nearby because I just love the size and height of our kitchen island. So right now I've been working on three commissions in addition to this made to order wall sculpture made with bamboo felt. Typically, my art is one of a kind, but I do also enjoy occasionally offering work that can be replicated like this one here. September is such a beautiful transitional month blended with summer energy and cozy autumnal weather. I just love getting really cozy in my studio. Now, before I started in on some of my commissions, I really wanted to finish this personal wall sculpture. So I pulled out my thrifted finds and began cutting the fabric. I really need to sharpen this blade. And honestly, I could benefit from a larger cutting mat as well. I love my current studio, but Mark and I have plans to build a separate building in the coming year where we can both expand our art spaces. Creating a larger space and investing in more studio machinery will really help me manage the increase in work that I have been experiencing the past year.
coming back to this bamboo wall sculpture. I've made this style of artwork for around seven years now and my methods are definitely unconventional and very unique. This technique I made up kind of recreates a traditional tufting aesthetic but without using any machinery. It's a lot of snipping and twirling and sewing and I just love the texture that it creates. What I love about my artistic process as a fiber artist is that it's very repetitive and meditative and I really do believe that art is such a healing tool for the mind, body, and spirit and I'm so incredibly grateful that this is my career and my life's passion. The center of the piece has this giant playful tassel that's kind of pouring out of the sculpture. And I create this using a homemade wooden tool. Mark actually made this for me last year because for a long time I was using the legs of a stool to wrap around and create my tassels and it just wasn't as efficient as this little wood tool is. So this is organic kapok fiber and it's one of my favorite sustainable materials that I use to stuff my sculptures. Kapok is a renewable fiber from fast growing tropical trees that can grow without any pesticides, fertilizer, irrigation and it requires virtually no water which is amazing. The trees can also help reduce soil erosion and improve soil quality. So. It's definitely a great sustainable and ethical alternative to fibers like cotton and wool. The kapok fluff does tend to cover the surface of the fabric, so a little lint rolling cleans it all up and is a very satisfying process. Assembling this wall sculpture was so exciting, but also a little nerve-wracking because everything really needed to line up and piece together perfectly. But it all worked out thankfully, and I was just very careful and cautious and did a lot of testing to make sure that this would work. After I connected all the pieces, I traced the sculptural shape against wood that would eventually become the backing of the sculpture. And here's how it all turned out. I absolutely love this new sculptural style and I will definitely be exploring it much further. And here's the made to order sculpture before I shipped it off to the client in California. And if you're curious about this piece and my other creations, I'll link my online shop below. And I'm on to the next project. This wall sculpture is going to be made with organic heirloom cotton and is for the Frenchman's Reef Resort in the Virgin Islands. Movement is such a big part of my studio practice and taking little breaks to shift and dance and play and also starting every morning with yoga to ensure my body doesn't tense up while I'm creating. I'm going to close out the video here so if you'd like to see how this commission turns out Definitely stay tuned for my next studio vlog.